See, that wasn't so hard. <laughs> Somebody get this stupid costume off me! From here on, starting now. I want my work to be credited by the anchors and on a burn. Jake Gyllenhaal is an American actor and producer known for his many outstanding movies and whirlwind romances. The hero of this episode effortlessly transforms into any character, capturing the attention of millions of viewers. In this video, you'll learn more about the actor's creative work and personal life. How Jake Gyllenhaal Lives and Where He Spends His Millions Jacob Benjamin Gyllenhaal was born on December 19, 1980 in Los Angeles to a family of filmmakers. His mother, Naomi Bonner, is a famous screenwriter and his father, Stefan Gyllenhaal, is a film director. By the way, our hero's godparents are also from the cinema world, actors Paul Newman and Jamie Lee Curtis. Jacob has a sister, Maggie, who is three years older than him and also works in the film industry. Gyllenhaal's ancestors on his father's side were Swedish and British aristocrats, while the relatives on his mother's side were Jewish immigrants from Russia and Poland. His surname is Swedish, so it's supposed to sound like Yelenhoyl. So shouldn't it be like Yelenhoyl? Oh my god. <laughs> I have to it all. <laughs> but everyone pronounces it with the English sound J. The actor likes to joke that there are two places in the world where his name is pronounced correctly, Sweden and Ikea. Jake attended a private school affiliated with Harvard University, the same school that taught the members of the pop rock band Maroon 5. What's more, our hero has known the band's frontman, Adam Levine, since kindergarten, and they remain good friends to this day. During his school years, Gyllenhaal performed in a drama club and made his screen debut at the age of 11, appearing in the comedy City Slickers as the son of the protagonist. After that, he won the audition for the film The Mighty Ducks, but his parents didn't allow him to participate as he would have to leave home for two months and miss school to play that role. In one interview, Jake shared that he was inspired to become an actor after watching Federico Fellini's movie La Strada. Interestingly, the same movie inspired Stefan Gyllenhaal to become a director. On his 13th birthday, instead of celebrating a traditional Jewish bar mitzvah ceremony, the actor worked at a homeless shelter. That was how his parents wanted to give their son a sense of gratitude for being born into a privileged family. At that time, the boy and his sister got featured in the drama A Dangerous Woman, directed by their father. Then, the teenager expanded his filmography by starring in the shows Josh and Sam, Homicide, Life on the Streets, and Homegrown. The parents worried Jake's career might bloat his ego, so they raised him with strict rules. Stefan wanted to teach his son to be manly, so he would wake him up at 4.30 a.m. and send him for a run. Also, the director made his son play soccer, which the boy hated because he couldn't follow the ball due to his vision problems. In addition, the parents taught their son to understand the value of money and insisted that he earn his living. During the summer holidays, the teenager worked part-time as a lifeguard at the beach and as a waiter's assistant. In 1998, Gyllenhaal graduated from high school and entered Columbia University, where he studied Eastern religions and philosophy. By the way, at the university, one of Jake's professors was Robert Thurman, Uma Thurman's father. Jake's mother and sister graduated from the same educational institution. However, unlike them, he dropped out in his sophomore year to pursue his acting career. In 1999, he played the protagonist in the biographical drama October Sky, portraying a schoolboy who dreamt of building his own rocket after the launch of the first satellite. Could have seen that first game with Blue. I'm going to build a rocket. Well, I'm not saying it's going to go up in space or anything, but I'm going to do it. Gyllenhaal did an excellent job. The role became his career breakthrough and was the first to bring him fame. This success was followed by failure. Jake was one of the contenders for the role of Frodo Baggins in The Lord of the Rings, but he failed the audition. The director even called him the worst actor because Jake did not realize he should have read the lines with a British accent. In 2001, the actor starred in the romantic drama Lovely and Amazing and the comedy Bubble Boy. You want $500? Yes, I would. Please, I would like $500. You want $500? You want $500?
In fact, the scene in the club before the mud fight was created by our hero and his colleague, Ping Wu. Lots of doubles and stuntmen were engaged in the process to shoot the fight, but Jake himself was in the bubble the whole time. The same year, along with his sister, Gyllenhaal played the protagonist in the sci-fi thriller Donnie Darko. It's fun that during the shooting, Jake and Maggie, like typical siblings, kept ribbing each other and trying to show who was the boss. Okay. Do you want to tell mom and dad why you stopped taking your medication? You're such a f ass. <laughs> Please. Did you just call me a f ass? However, in their real life, they are very close. Donnie Darko almost flopped at the box office, but after the DVD release, its popularity skyrocketed and the movie turned into a cult classic. Our hero's acting fee at the time was $400,000. He came to the movie premiere with his girlfriend, singer Jenny Lewis. Their romance lasted only a few months. In 2002, Gyllenhaal starred in Moonlight Mile, The Good Girl, and Highway. 20 years after the premiere, the actor admitted that during the shooting, he was madly in love with Jennifer Aniston but never told her about his feelings. In the same 2022, the young man started dating actress Kirsten Dunst, who was introduced to him by his sister. The fans were confident that the couple would get married. Rumor had it, Jake even proposed to Kirsten and bought a house for them to live together. But the girl was not ready for serious relationships, so they broke up two years later. Despite that, the public still likes to remember the couple's adorable photos, some of which have become memes. For example, a photo of the actor watching his girlfriend enjoying her meal in a cafe. By the way, shortly before meeting Gyllenhaal, Kirsten played the girlfriend of Spider-Man, whom Jake could have played in the second part of the franchise. Back then, Tobey Maguire injured his back and the studio almost approved our hero as a replacement, but in the end, there were no changes in the cast. Actually, Jake could have also played Batman, Superman, and Avatar, but those roles passed him by as well. In 2004, the actor played himself in the failed comedy Jiminy Glick in La La Wood and one of the leading roles in the science fiction disaster movie The Day After Tomorrow. The film received good reviews from critics and was commercially successful. 2005 was a very successful year for Gyllenhaal. He starred in the detective drama Proof and the military drama Jarhead, for which he received $3 million. In fact, other actors who also competed for the leading role in Jarhead were Leonardo DiCaprio and Tobey Maguire. Still, the most memorable film was Brokeback Mountain, a story of same-sex love between two cowboys played by Jake Gyllenhaal and Heath Ledger. During interviews, the actor admitted that he literally begged the director to give him this role as the movie addressed a taboo subject that Jake wanted to explore. Our hero got so deep into the character that many viewers began to suspect him of homosexuality. The actor took that as a compliment because it was a sign of his brilliant acting. By the way, during the filming, the men kissed so passionately that Jake thought Heath would break his nose. As a side note, the actors became great friends, and Gyllenhaal even became a godfather to Ledger's daughter. The critics praised the movie, and our hero was nominated for numerous film awards, including an Oscar. Moreover, he won the MTV Movie Award and a BAFTA. According to some sources, the actor's fee was $521,000. In 2007, Jake starred in the detective thriller Zodiac based on a true story. Does he think that Zodiac's gonna send another code? Because I think Zodiac's gonna send another code. Jesus, Harold Christ on rubber crutches, Bobby. What are you doing? You're doing that thing. The thing we discussed, the thing that I don't like, starts with an L. Oh, looming. Yeah. Gyllenhaal was the director's first choice for the role of crime author Robert Graysmith, and if he had refused, the role would have been offered to Orlando Bloom. The character was a young father, so the actor had to learn how to put old-fashioned diapers on a doll before the filming. During the shooting, our hero intervened in a conflict between Mark Ruffalo and Robert Downey Jr. The fight was prevented, but Jake lost a tooth that was later sold at a charity auction for $98,000. In the same year, the actor played one of the leading roles in the thriller Rendition, where he dived into a romance with actress Reese Witherspoon. At first, the couple hid their relationship as Reese was not yet divorced from her husband, Ryan Phillippe. Soon enough, the lovers started appearing together in public more often. According to rumors, Jake proposed to the girl, but she did not want to tie the knot once again. Two years later, the couple broke up. In 2008, our hero had to experience a tragedy, the death of Heath Ledger. Gyllenhaal found out about his close friend's death during the filming of Brothers and, shocked by what happened, he could not return to work for some time. At that moment, Jake promised to play in decent movies only to pay his respect to Ledger and give more attention to theater work. Indeed, since 2012, he regularly appeared on stage in various plays and musicals. 
The film Brothers was released in 2009. Gyllenhaal's co-star was Tobey Maguire. Initially, it was assumed that they would play the opposite roles, but later, the director doubted whether Maguire would have been able to convincingly portray a negative character, so the actors swapped their roles. This food is great, Elsie. Thank you. <laughs> Compared to what? Other food. Prison food? Tommy! One more star in this film was Natalie Portman, who later dated Gyllenhaal for a short period. It was rumored that the celebrity's romance was just Jake's way to get distracted from his problems. In addition to his friend's death, his parents' divorce deepened his depression. Their 30-year marriage was ruined by the infidelity of his father, who soon remarried. After the divorce, the actor's mother moved to New York, followed by her son. In 2010, Gyllenhaal starred in the sci-fi action film Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, for which he received $10 million, according to media reports. One more role was in the melodrama Love and Other Drugs, for which he was nominated for a Golden Globe. Talented, charming, handsome, capable, determined. I am. Yes, you are. In this movie, Jake's co-star was Anne Hathaway, with whom he was rumored to have a romance. The celebrities fueled the flame by doing a revealing photo shoot for Entertainment Weekly. However, after a while, everyone learned that the actors were just friends. In the same year, the actors started a relationship with singer Taylor Swift, who was nine years younger than him. Three months later, Gyllenhaal broke up with her over the phone. Swift took the breakup hard and even wrote several songs about her ex. Interestingly, 10 years after the breakup, when the singer re-recorded her 2012 album, she remembered her ex-boyfriend in the music video for the 10-minute version of All Too Well. Apparently, when they were dating, Swift left her scarf at the actor's house. Jake seemed to have forgotten that and wore this accessory as his own. Fans were amused by this fact, so they flooded the actor with messages asking him to return Taylor's scarf. At the same time, during their relationship, Jake spared no expense on his beloved one and even paid for private planes costing $160,000 for Swift so he could see her more often. In 2011, Gyllenhaal played the protagonist in the sci-fi action film Source Code. How's everything today? It's good. Anything out of the ordinary? No. I meant uh, behavior on the train. Does anything, anybody seem strange to you? You're a little strange. In the movie, Jake's character was supposed to look confused, and to achieve this effect, the director resorted to a trick. The actor wore special headphones that played random fragments of songs and unusual sounds to get the desired facial expressions. The following year, Gyllenhaal starred in the short film Time to Dance and played a police officer in the action film End of Watch. He prepared for the filming by riding along with police officers for five months and even witnessed a crime during his first ride. Meanwhile, Jake added more fleeting romantic pursuits to his list. Dakota Johnson, Minka Kelly, Alyssa Miller, and model Emily Didonato. In 2013, the actor starred in Denis Villeneuve's psychological thriller Enemy, a story of an insane idea of a history teacher to find his doppelganger. The director was so impressed with Gyllenhaal's work that he offered him a role in another film, Prisoners, where the actor played a detective investigating a girl's disappearance. Did you put those girls somewhere? Yes, yeah, come, come on. on. Did you put those girls somewhere? Just don't touch me. I know you put those girls somewhere. Mm. You hide them? No. How'd you hide them? Do you tie them up? Ryan Gosling wanted to play this role as well, but the director, with all due respect to Gosling's talent, did not change his decision. During the filming, Jake Gyllenhaal made his own contributions to the film. For example, he added his character's nervous tick, the tattoos, and the Masonic ring. In 2014, the celebrity starred in the thriller Nightcrawler, portraying an experienced thief, Louis Bloom. The actor had to lose nearly 30 pounds for the movie. To achieve that, he dedicated around eight hours a day to physical exercise. Also, Jake performed most of the car stunts himself, including the chase scene at the end of the film. Once he got so much into his role that he accidentally broke a mirror with his hand and got into hospital care where he got 14 stitches. Where are we going? Talk to me, what's next? T, keeping on this five, no, six block stand of right. On what? We made a mistake, it's the right five block back. It's just five blocks. His efforts paid off. Jake Gyllenhaal was nominated for the Golden Globe, Saturn, Screen Actors Guild, and BAFTA Awards for this role. During the same period, Jake was rumored to be dating Margot Robbie and Ruth Wilson, but he claimed his colleagues were just his friends. In 2015, Jake Gyllenhaal expanded his filmography by starring in Accidental Love, Demolition, and Everest. During the filming of Everest, he nearly lost his hearing and narrowly escaped hypothermia. 
However, he was proud that he could provide excellent results even in such extreme conditions. The same year, the actor starred in a short film for Beyonce and Jay-Z's concert tour and in the sports drama Southpaw as boxer Billy Hope. Or, uh, you know, place a train. <clears throat> and, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe uh, trainer. I don't train pro fighters anymore. Jake prepared for the filming by spending five months in the boxing ring and dedicating six hours a day to his training. Thanks to that, he managed to get in good shape as he gained 28 pounds of muscle. Obviously, our hero takes all his roles seriously. For example, if he has to speak a different language for the role, he not only learns the necessary lines by heart, but also devotes some time to studying the language to improve his pronunciation. Hall's co-star was Rachel McAdams, who was also rumored to have a fleeting affair with Jake. In 2016, the actor appeared in an episode of the TV series Inside Amy Schumer and starred in the thriller Nocturnal Animals, where he played a double role, a writer and the hero of his book. He was nominated for a BAFTA award for this work. Then our hero got featured in the films Life, Okja, Stronger, Wildlife, and The Sisters Brothers. In 2018, Jake started dating French model Jean Cudio, who is 16 years younger than him. If earlier he used to justify his fleeting romances with his desire to be free, today the actor admits that he dreams of a family and children. By the way, his relationship with Jean is his longest one. The couple lives together and may soon get married. The media gossip that it's extremely important for Gyllenhaal what his mother thinks of his future wife. Having a degree in psychology, Naomi allegedly checks every potential daughter-in-law and has never approved of his previous girlfriends. In 2019, the actor starred in the horror film Velvet Buzzsaw, the children's musical comedy John Mulaney and the Sack Lunch Bunch, and finally got a role in the Spider-Man film Far From Home. On the screen, he portrayed the supervillain Mysterio. Are those the Edith glasses? Yeah. They were just on the floor? Try them on. Let's see how they look on you. Can I be completely honest with you? Please. They look really stupid. In 2021, Gyllenhaal voiced the cartoon Spirit Untamed and starred in the thriller The Guilty. The following year, he appeared in the action film Ambulance and performed the voice acting for the cartoon Strange World. Currently, Jake continues to play in movies. Recently, there was the premiere of the action movie The Covenant. Right now, a TV series, Presumed Innocent, is being filmed, and the action movie Roadside Diner is in post-production. To play in this film, the actor took part in the traditional UFC weigh-in. The shooting took place in Las Vegas at the T-Mobile Arena. Also, in the future, the celebrity will take part in the films Francis and the Godfather and Prophet, as well as in several other projects with the launch dates still uncertain. In addition, Gyllenhaal has managed to work as a producer. He already has 19 films under his belt. Today, the celebrity's net worth is estimated at $80 million earned as an actor. Experts believe that his acting fees range from $8 to $15 million. Additionally, our hero earns money thanks to advertising contracts. The actor has collaborated with the fashion brands Cartier, Calvin Klein, and Prada. The porcelain manufacturer Richard Genori and recently starred in an advertisement for vegan eggs. In his free time, the actor likes to do woodwork and cook. What's more, he tries to attend the gym and meditate every day. By the way, Jake practices Buddhism. Also, the man has pets, dogs Boo Radley and Atticus, which he adopted from a shelter. Gyllenhaal named the dogs after the main characters of his favorite book, To Kill a Mockingbird. The celebrity is engaged in public services. He is a supporter of the environmental movement and recycling. He annually allocates $400,000 for planting trees in the forests of Mozambique and also flies to the Arctic to draw public attention to climate change. In addition, he donates money to charity organizations fighting cancer and other diseases. Jake and his beloved one live in New York on the fifth floor of an apartment building in Tribeca. The man bought the apartment in 2017 for $8.6 million. The property covers an area of approximately 2,900 square feet and includes three bedrooms, three bathrooms, a spacious living room, and a kitchen dining room. There is also an underground parking, a pool, and a garden. According to some reports, Gyllenhaal has two more real estate objects in New York, a penthouse in Soho costing $3.5 million and a townhouse in Tribeca worth $3.75 million. Before moving to New York, the actor lived in Los Angeles. There, in 2005, he bought a mansion in the Hollywood Hills for $2.5 million. The property had an area of approximately 2,800 square feet, featuring a garden and a swimming pool with a relaxation zone. In 2014, the man sold the house for $3.5 million. 
Jake owns the car collection, including the Audi Q7 priced at $55,000, the Mercedes-Benz E500 for $62,000, the Lexus RX and BMW i3 worth $45,000 each, as well as the Bentley Flying Spur valued at $2,000 and the Porsche Cayenne for $68,000. In fact, Jake's first car was a 1990 Volvo. Also, he received his first driving lesson from his godfather, Paul Newman. Throughout his career, the actor has appeared in more than 70 films of various genres. Which movie featuring Jake Gyllenhaal do you like the most? If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.